Hello and welcome to this edition of Fiery Friday. I'm Rob Lienti, Senior Sales Development Manager for EFI's Fiery Business Unit. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the free tools inside a command workstation to automate repeatable print jobs using Fiery Job Presets. In this example, I have two jobs we're going to use. I have an eight page letter size document and I have a business card that we have to print. Let's start with a letter size document. We want to create a booklet with this. So we're going to do a right click on it, go down to our job properties. Inside of job properties, we're going to go to our layout tab, select booklet, click the launch wizard, and start going through all the steps needed to make this book print the way that we want it to. So here we'll set it that this is going to be an 11 by 17 sheet. We'll select our page alignment, our creep, and we'll hit finish. Then we're going to go to the media tab and we're going to select our paper stock. So we'll select a 11 by 17 copy paper. And we'll go to our finishing tab and select our fold capability on the fiery driven device as well as the stapling. That was 25 mouse clicks just to create this booklet. So at this point, I'm going to show you a trick to eliminate all those steps. We're going to come up to the presets area and select save preset. We're going to then select server presets, which allows this saved preset to be seen by anybody using the Fiery. And we're going to name this 11 by 17 booklet and hit save. So now we've got a preset called 11 by 17 booklet. We're going to cancel this. Now we're going to right click on this job and we're going to go down to apply workflow and you're going to see the 11 by 17 booklet is there. So in the future, you do not have to have 25 mouse clicks, okay, to select your paper catalog paper, to select your booklet setup, and to select your finishing. It is all done with now three mouse clicks. So let me show you one more example of a workflow that we can create using Fiery's job presets when it comes down to imposition templates. So I'm going to do a right click on a imposed job and I already have an imposition template saved. So I'm going to select that for the business cards. It's called 24 up business cards. You're going to see it's laid it out as an 8 over 3 with the crop marks in its proper place. Then I'll hit close and normally we would hit save. So that's eight mouse clicks just to apply an imposed template. So I'm going to show you how we can set up the same type of workflow using the device center inside the Fiery. So we'll click on the three dots, go to Device Center, and on the left hand side we'll come underneath here and select Job Presets. After we select Job Presets we'll hit New, and then I'm going to name this Job Preset 24 Up Business Cards. Then after we name it 24 Up Business Cards, I'm going to hit Define under Job Properties. We'll come in here and select our Layout and go to Impose and you're going to see the Fiery Impose template is showing up here. So after I've done that, I can select my media for this, which is going to be 12 by 18, 16 point. And then we're going to hit OK, and then OK again. And now you're going to see we have a 24 up business card job preset saved. And the last thing we'll do is we'll do a right click on that job and apply the 24 up business card workflow we just created using our job presets. And we'll process and hold the job to see the finished results, which should be a 24 business card from the job preset we just created, showing you the powerful tools that are available inside a command workstation to automate repeatable jobs. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Fiery Friday. If you have any questions about the video you saw today, please feel free to reach out to me at rob.lienti at EFI.com or message me on LinkedIn. Have a great weekend.